So uh, you were directly affected when uh, the settlement by Neville Chamberlain came through and he gave the Sudeten land to the Nazis in 1937. Well, you see, Hitler said that he wants his his German brothers. They were. It was probably 60, 70 percent German. And you spoke German. I spoke German. I went to German school. I see. <laughs> so when that happened, you had to leave uh, Teplitz. So in 1937, you had to leave the Sudetenland and you moved to... We didn't have to leave, but we decided to leave. And where did you go? We went to Prague, which is, which is in the middle of Bohemia. So then in Prague, uh, Hitler didn't stop at the Sudetenland. Uh, what, how yes. did you uh, get out of the country? American passport because my father uh, and all of us had an American citizenship because uh, of my father. Because he I was born in, in Chicago. But he only lived there till he was 12 and then moved back. But he never gave up his citizenship. Oh, that. That was fortunate. And not that he expected anything. He just didn't find a reason to do it. Uh, understandable. So, that was lucky. I, other part members of your family beyond your nuclear family? Yes. Uh, we had our, our maiden aunt living with us. And uh, she also applied for for uh, exit uh, visa of some sort. Yes. And couldn't. And, uh, well, not that she couldn't, uh, she sent a picture of a group and had cut herself out, but that was not acceptable because they like a certain... Specific passport photo. So they rejected did. her passport because the photo wasn't precisely right. Oh, that is sad. So you joined... Uh, the Shomer while you were 14. Now, how was it structured? Were they everybody together or were there different no, groups, subgroups? Age groups. And the youngest were 11, I think. I was in the second group, uh, which was from 12 to 15 or so. And uh, I got in, put into this group and they became my lifelong friends. Ruthie. Ruthie was in there and uh, some other people. Ruthie Postal Johnson, who was your best friend for the next and, 60 years. And hated me. <laughs> <laughs> we all laughed about it. She said, I couldn't stand you. <laughs> what was it that the, the Shomer they goal said, was? Okay, the goal was to isolate us from our environment. So, we thought like the, the social dancing, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing makeup, no. <laughs> Having caring what your hair looks like. <laughs> <laughs> For example, uh, Leah Linton and I, we saw it as something because we had escaped from our original homes and we were different, the oriented. The others, they either dropped out or, you know, but we knew we were going to go to Israel finally when it was ready for us to go to Israel. We lived in a, in a house of getting ready to go to Israel. And that was in Heightstown? No, that, that was in the city in, um, uh, in Brooklyn. Oh, so after all your training, which we'll discuss mm -hmm. in a minute, at, but before you went to Israel, you moved out of your own home and your whole, was it all Gimel or was it uh, all the Shomer that were going over? It was um, mostly the Shomer ready to go over. And how long were you there? Um, maybe a year. Wow. And now, were you able to I go to... Job. We had to support ourselves. So you dropped out of Brooklyn College. Yeah. Which was a free prestigious university. After your training, uh, 
and you were getting ready to go to Israel, then uh, there was some work for the Haganah. How did that come about, and what did you do? Well, that they needed money, and they it seemed that there were some uh, coins in Mexico that had gold in it. And so we went and we, uh, we, but I, all I did, some people, other people went and got this stuff and uh, put it inside the lining of suitcases. But uh, because I, you know, I, I was afraid of my father. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were kind. And I didn't have to do all that. So, so you but didn't uh, didn't take I, the suitcases I did, I did, I across did, the border. But I, I, I didn't take it. No, I was. I picked it up right at the border. But they put it into suitcases exactly the type that most people were wearing, so that it didn't look. But we had certain signs on ours. And as I was on the bus. And I saw they were loading the suitcases. And I saw that then when when they stopped, they gave that that suitcase Your suitcase. My suitcase to somebody and the guy was walking off and I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> For you At first we all went to Ain Hashofet, that's the oldest um, uh, <laughs> You know, kibbutz. Was, uh, kibbutz. And uh, so we stayed there a long time until they made a, a place for us. Did you have target practice or was it just basic training? Or we had, we have, if you, I'll show you. Yes, the we picture. have the pictures. And wherever we went, we had to wear, take a gun with us. So you were on the kibbutz. And you had little interaction with the Arabs in the country. Except the, uh, the Christian Arabs. Okay. They were our friends. And they stayed. You were at Sasa. You, I, I mean, at another kibbutz. And while you were there, you were visiting Sasa and you were building? Uh, well, we... We had to go see cool. We had to first have something called see cool. They, it was a landscape that had not been used. It was had a lot of rocks on it. At Sasa. Yes. So. So they for weeks we all went and we had we went and we picked up rocks for weeks. They they kept some of the houses. Uh, and many of us were just in tents. And, uh, so there were some structures already there? Uh, very few. How long uh, did it take to get uh, indoor plumbing? No, we, we, we didn't have indoor plumbing. We had the outhouses. You did have outhouses. You didn't just go out in the fields. And we called it Congress. <laughs> Because it had two houses. <laughs> uh, not then. They had a big water truck come and bring us the water. Really? And we had a half a cup per person of water. And, and showers? We had showers. And the showers were uh, <laughs> just little like little brooks and there's a shower on top and the rats. <laughs> it was very cute. <laughs> and she made me be in charge of the... the and what kind of livestock did you have? Uh, it just cows and a few horses. And the horses were wild. And <laughs> I remember father going, he wanted to have the horses, and you had to say "hoisa" or "zo" or something, and you screamed at those horses. 
successful wild horses. So your uh, your future husband uh, was trying to tame horses with all the experience he had growing up in Brooklyn. <laughs> he, he left. <laughs> So what was uh, what was the feeling? I'm like, was there? Were you all happy? You were all all happy. Even though you were were roughing it, it, was it just like an extended camp out? Yeah, I mean, that is what people were looking for. Very happy. And were you wearing earrings every day? Earrings. <laughs> <laughs> So even you gave up the concern about how you looked uh, those no, early days. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> when I visited the kibbutz, um, this one old lady in the, in the old kibbutz, she said, "I'm going to give you a real present." Guess what she gave me? A bar of soap. A bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> you can wash your underwear. <laughs> And what was the food like? Uh, <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> and such small portions. <laughs> they had, uh, they made something like a bean soup or something. It didn't matter because in the morning we had fresh vegetables and cheese and bread, and that was good. But if you, you know. Father was one who he would cut everything up a little bit, and uh, by the time he looked for the other things that were gone, <laughs> you have to be. I see. When we first came, uh, somebody made this poem about we have to speak Hebrew, you know, and so that that didn't really go across because. With my old friends, we spoke English. So, and most of the uh, founders of Sasa were from the Shomer, and you almost always spoke English with each other. Yes, and and mix <laughs> mix it with Hebrew words. Were you uh, on guard? Uh, yes, with father, and guess what? He said, you know, he said. You're so good with a gun," he said. "He's going to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> so your future husband said you were good with a gun, so you can stand guard while he takes a nap. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> she had to, during the day. These two men came up the hill, and so she said, "Just a minute." He said she had to climb down. But she couldn't climb down with a gun. So she handed her gun to these two people <laughs> while she was <laughs> they, they probably weren't enemy combatants. <laughs> I mean, but they they were Arabs. <laughs> but you know, she <laughs> she couldn't climb down with a gun. <laughs> I mean no you know, there was no anger. there were no two people fighting. It was just, even if you didn't love that person, person, you didn't, you know, dwell on that. Speaking of loving someone, you did fall in love and get married. You got pregnant and um, you had a baby. Yeah. Now, was that on the kibbutz or was that uh, in... No, went to Naria. Went to Naria. In fact, we we went to Naharia earlier because uh, sometimes if it's winter it could be icy the roads. And he was born in January. Yeah, and so they sent me to the bus driver's house, and he was German, and his his mother lived there too, and she always said, "Yeah, he he come away in a." Elena had a good kinderstube gehabt, which means that I had a good training in behaving myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. and then we, the hospital was a little bit primitive because the upstairs was was the for having babies. <laughs> they had a, a very strong man. 
carriage or from the first. <laughs> no elevator. No elevator. What about Passover? Uh, Passover, was that celebrated in the uh, it was kibbutz? All of the kibbutz. At first, we were too busy. But the older people from the older kibbutz came and they sat us down and they said, This is a Jewish day and we have to celebrate the holidays. You know? And they they said it's important because you know, in America we were we were kinda of coaxed away from them. But now they said we've got to So it does sound like there was some fun going on here oh, too. Yeah, we were very happy. We, we the food was terrible and <laughs> But in the shower with the with the with the uh, rats, but it didn't matter. Why we didn't it matter? Because we were we were what in a place that we wanted to be. We're building a, a land for for yeah you know, for Jews. I mean, can you imagine there never was a land for Jews? <laughs> 